Yo, listen. Billy's life is little Arthur. 2012. Billy was a scary little kid with bullies picking on him. They used to tip him off the down and take his dinner money. Billy used to cry saying, stop that way, isn't funny. He used to break his heart thinking that he used to want it. He used to walk home with a tear in his eye. Bruises on his arms and fear on his mind. He used to run upstairs looking in the mirror and cry. Billy's life isn't fair. He was sick of his life. Billy lived with his mom on a council estate. He wore his mother's belt to keep his trousers in place. One day Billy said he's going out for the day. His mom asked where he says out with his mates. But little did she know Billy's got more friends. So he's walking around by himself in the ends. Later on the night about half past ten. He was on his way home but he gets beat up again. The same thing happens every day. But this time Billy was surrounded by two dogs and six guys. Billy feels scared as one pulls out a big knife. This is when he knew that it was more than just a fist fight. That night Billy got stabbed in the ribs. He shouted for someone to bring the ambulance quick. The ambulance came and the paramedic came out of the van and helped Billy in. After getting stitched up Billy calls his mom. His mom's rubbing sick. She doesn't know what's going on. Billy feels a ring and lets her know he won't be long. Cause his mom's getting old. Now he's gotta be strong. When Billy gets home his mom is crying on the staircase. His mom dried up with his and asked Billy what did the nurse say. Billy said he couldn't got sad in a much worse place. So Billy finds a know that he can see another birthday. His mom was thinking who in the right mind would go around looking for a school boy at night time. Just so we could be another victim of a knife crime. He gives his mom a hug. After looking in her bright eyes, one month later, Billy was back in school. And everywhere he went, Billy carried a tool. He's got it in his head, a stab in his cool. Now he doesn't pay attention to the laws or the rules. One night, Billy went out to nine o'clock, thinking he's a big man. From the new night, he's got to see one of the boys that used to wind them up. Billy approached him, and the boys said, Hi, what's up? Billy replies, What goes around comes around. He puts a knife to his neck and says, It's funny how the shoes are on the other foot, and I'm the one who's looking down, and you're the one who wants me to stop. Is it funny now? No. Well, it's something that you're like to know. I felt the same way as you did. You made me cry, so don't bother saying sorry. Then Billy moved the knife below his chin, looked him in the eyes, slashed his throat. Then was a loud scream and then a long silence. Billy never thought he would resort to any violence. Now that poor boy will never open his eyelids. Then Billy dropped the knife at the first sound of sirens. The poor victim had an old and caring mother, a five year old sister and a ten year old brother. There used to be a family that loved one another, but then they just died face down in the gutter. The boy died before we even hit hospital. Chances to live were almost impossible. Billy ran home. He didn't know what to do. He looks in the mirror and thinks, What a fool. He never got no sleep. He was hesitating. The next morning, his mom tried to wake him up as he had to go to the police station to take fingerprints out to write out a statement. Billy was thinking to himself, was all the evidence. When Billy done the crime, he had a lot of adrenaline. So we dropped the weapon on the floor without thinking, and he wasn't wearing anything. So we got all the fingerprints. And that's the evidence the police had against him. He had the dog behind bars, but she's more neglected. It was the start of a very long sentence. It's written by a little laugh, so thanks for your attention. Thanks for your attention.